Uh, after the Ring of Honor pay-per-view, Tony Khan announced that the television deal, the way you can watch ROH, will in fact be at watchroh.com, which is going to be the newly launched Honor Club. And he essentially said that more about this will be announced following the Tokyo Dome because New Japan is going to be involved. So that's interesting. It is interesting. So I don't want to speculate on, on what that might mean. But um, so the idea is, is they're going to do uh, weekly TV. I don't know if they're going to I don't know where they'll tape it. I don't know if they will tape it on, um, you know, in, in you know, like in, at a universal type thing like they do with Dark or if they would do it on, you know, Wednesday nights in place of one of the streaming shows. Um, which actually would make for a better live experience. You know, if you would go to the show and you get, you know, an hour of Ring of Honor every Wednesday um, as the lead-in to the two hours of Dynamite. Or, you know, um, you know, maybe do something on Friday nights where you would do more Friday live shows and you would do... Because the Friday, the thing with the Friday shows is you only get one hour of Rampage and then everything else is like squash matches. And it's really not, it's really not that great of a live experience and... and it would be improved if you would do an hour of Ring of Honor before you did Rampage, and then you maybe do one hour of squash, you know, of squash matches. Um, but it would make for a better thing. So it'd be, you know, I mean, there's there's plenty plenty of ways to go. I mean, the the big part of the story, obviously, is that they did not get a TV deal. And the other big part of the story, um, you know, the, from the other day, is the big layoffs at WBD. I mean, like, I know everybody. You know, it, it thinks that like um, they're going to get this giant increase. And again, I, there's no way of knowing. I mean, WBD is very high on dynamite as they should be. It's a very successful show, but they are doing so much cost cutting. And I mean, they got rid of the head of TBS, TNT, um, you know, HGTV. Uh, you know, they got the head of they got rid of the heads of several of their networks uh, just this week. And also, you know, I mean, the key in this thing is, is that uh, he did not sell a Ring of Honor television show, which is, I think, the, the big part of the story. And the decision, instead of going to YouTube, is to do it as a pay show as part of a pay service. And, I mean, the one thing with Ring of Honor um, that is uh, good for Tony, as like today's show is a perfect example of it, is just like, you can make take a lot of experiments. It's like you know, do this and and see um, what type of stuff. I don't know that they would ever do this for uh, Dynamite or even for Rampage or anything like this. Put them on a pay service, their own their own network, so to speak. If they can't get a deal with a bigger network, um, but um, you know, I mean, it's it's one of those things where you look at it. You can try it out. You see what works, what doesn't work on a much lower level basis before if you try to make, you know, one of these things like, let's say, um, you know, and he even talked to me about this before was that like per perhaps there's like a November, you know, or there's a date where he wants to do a Saturday pay-per-view, but there's a UFC that night or there's something big that night, you know, in sports. How much are you hurt by going on Saturday? Well, we have no idea. It probably hurts somewhat, but we're going to know based on how this compared, how this pay-per-view does compared to a normal Ring of Honor pay-per-view. It's like, is it viable? Is it not viable? If it ends up doing the same, then all of a sudden it's like, hey, we could do an afternoon pay-per-view. It's something different. But you don't want to risk it on a show that you, you're counting on to draw millions and millions of dollars. You know, you can do it on this one. And it's the same thing on, okay, you know, the idea. They do do... This is what they're doing here is similar to what they do in the UK. I think it's more it's higher price than the UK, you know, where you get um, Dynamite and Rampage um, before it airs on television because they are on a couple of days delay in the UK. But you get it at the same time as in the United States by subscribing to the fight thing. So they're going to do, you know, so that's already been done there. And this is kind of like an offshoot of that. But um, it's an interesting decision. The pay-per-views will not be on Honor Club um, until 90 days after. So they're not going to give up the pay-per-view business, which, you know, I mean, that's the one thing that I think that they probably feel WWE made a mistake to a degree on, although in the long run they didn't make a mistake because of the great deal that they got with Peacock. But, um, you know, 
pay-per-view has done very, very well for AEW, and it's done very, very well for Ring of Honor, too. So they're not going to, um, you know, uh, give up that revenue um, on, a, on a streaming service for a lower price. They're not going to make their uh, big events be more low-priced events. That's just not going to be something that they're doing right now. Well, so. I should say that it was an improvement because uh, the replay was up within six hours on BR Live. But it's got to be up quicker. I mean, it should be up well, immediately. Especially this one. Yeah. When the one thing about this show is, is that I think this show, because of the the chain match, I think that this show will probably do really good replay buys because I think a lot of people probably, um, you know, probably just skipped it. There's a lot of stuff going on, um, you know, and and again, the Ring of Honor shows always do far less than a than an AEW show. So, um, which is an argument that maybe instead of doing three Ring of Honor pay-per-views, you should do three more AEW pay-per-views, but that's a different, that's a different topic. But, um, I mean, the one thing is, is that, um, you know, with, with so much, you know, you know, a show like this today had to be up right away because the buzz coming off of that chain match, you know, that you've got to see it, um, you know, it's like... You need to have that thing up real quick. So, Well, this person here says six hours. Is, yeah, it is horrendous. F- five minutes is horrendous. And I'm not even sure it was six hours. I just know that when the show ended, I went to watch the rest of it six hours later and it was up. It could have been three hours, could have been two hours, but it wasn't immediate. And to me, the big problem on this one was I, uh, I was watching on a delay. I, I showed up. I think I got home at uh, 2 o'clock for a show that started at 1. And I rewound it to the beginning and I started watching it. And uh, everything was going along fine, but I was in the middle of the Juice Robinson match. Oh, then it did it, did it click, Yeah, click, click, because I was that, in the I, middle of that, and the live show ended. And so because the live show ended, it booted me off during I've, Juice Robinson so I could watch the end of the show till six hours later. I've, I've had that happen to me with Peacock. Yes. Where I'm, on, on Peacock? Couple, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I've had the same thing where it's like I'm, I'm like— Usually when I watch a show, I might I might come in. Usually I'm on time, but every now and then I might be like 10, 15 minutes late. But one time I remember I was watching something on Peacock. Um, I think it was I think it was an NXT um, where I was like an hour late, and then it booted me off in the middle of you know like the semi main event like with you, and then it was like and I go okay no big deal you know I'll just go and watch the replay and the replay wasn't up for like hours and it was just like this is like not good. So, yeah, well, Peacock at least now gets to replay up immediately. So yeah. it's no longer a problem on Peacock, but it is still a problem on BR Live. Well, it should and not. That, that, that should be something to that's get yeah, that fixed. That has to. That has to be fixed. Um, you know. Um, yeah, it's just. It's just in, in modern day that has to be fixed. Yeah. Okay, we'll do the the full UFC recap later. But the gist of the story, and Dave can give you all the details. Is well, we, we, had we, a, we should we should we we, we haven't. Um, I mean, what do you think as far as like you know the um, the Ring of Honor deal? I'm thinking nothing of it yet. I know nothing about it. Well, I mean, just the idea that they're going to be on a pay service as opposed to um, a te- you know a television deal. Well, I mean, or a obviously deal. it would be it would be superior to have a television deal, but this tells me they can't get a television deal right now, or or, 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 or they want to put it on their service for a year and then try to bundle it all together when they do their next television deal a year from now and so this I, is I, don't, I don't think gap I, until I, I don't, that happens I, I don't think um i don't think that, that 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 thing was bought to wait a year to get it on television um but i mean the thing is it's not just a television deal but a streaming deal you know what i mean it's like if they were to put it on um you know any of these services and there's so many of them um it, it says that there was not a big money market for you know, whatever whatever it is, as far as you know, whether it's I'm not you know WBD streaming services, and there's plenty of them, or um, you know like HBO Max or whatever Discovery Plus, but also some of these sports services like DAZN or something like this, which has gone into wrestling, um, and I don't know what they negotiated and what they didn't, but um, I thought it was telling that there's you know that there was no deal made, and again maybe they feel that. Um, that they could make more money on ten dollars a month off of this. Um, I don't know. Well, you know, it's it's interesting economics. How many you know people they can get to subscribe for it? Um, again, the pay per views will pay for itself, pay for themselves. So it's not so much that, but you still have your Ring of Honor contracts and you have your cost of taping. Now, the one thing is, is that's why I think that taping it 
if you tape it on the Wednesday in the, in the place of, say, AEW Dark or Dark Elevation, actually, is what they usually tape on Wednesday, you're not, then you're not increasing your cost of production at all because you're already there and you're already doing it. But if you're doing a separate taping, um, then you're, you know, you've got to fly people into a new place and you have to, um, you know, it's, it's a different type of thing. And I don't think, well, you know, again, they could do a separate taping. They could do a universal thing like they do for Dark. Um, it's, that's, those are all possibilities. But, um, yeah, I mean, I would say, like, as far as the announcement goes, that, uh, I mean, you have well, to Well, the issue here is that if you're, if you, let's say you want to do Honor Club for TV. Okay. Well, you know, Ring of Honor, before it was Tony's, they used to do TV. You could watch their TV on Honor Club. But they also had television. But you also could get your, your pay-per-view as part of your Honor Club subscription. Right. So you had, there was a, there was a reason for you to pay $10 a month to watch the TV because you could also watch the pay-per-views. Here, you're being asked to watch the television for $10 a month, and then on top of that, pay for a pay-per-view. So they, I don't know what they're going to do with New Japan. I don't know what the idea is in terms of what this new Ring of Honor television show is going to be. Obviously, it's going to be very New Japan focused because they're not even announcing anything until after the Tokyo Dome. So there must be some sort of something that is being planned in a major way. Otherwise, you just announce it now. What it is, I don't know, but I mean, it better be something big because they're asking a lot. I mean, they put Dark and Elevation on YouTube. We can watch that every week for free. Right. And it does not do huge numbers. Not now anymore. you're being asked not to pay anymore. $10 to yeah. watch a Ring of Honor television show. And also, the other key is, is since you are going to be doing, in theory, let's say three Ring of Honor pay-per-views during the year, I think it's, you know, people, you know, it's like it's like the idea of keeping them separate. The last two weeks before Ring of Honor pay-per-view, you better have angles on Dynamite or you're not going to sell anything. So you're just shooting your angles on your pay show. You know what I mean? It's going to be in front of, you know, I'm going to throw out a number and this number could be way off. But 50,000 people as opposed to a million people if you shoot the, the angle. And I mean, they've been successful. Um uh, with these Ring of Honor pay-per-views because they're advertising them on TBS. Um, if they don't, you know, like, it's imperative that the last two weeks before these Ring of Honor pay-per-views that they still do a lot of stuff on Dynamite, you know, um, or else, you know, it's it's going to be very, very tough to sell the pay-per-views. And you're going to have to some have some AEW crossover because I think that these pay-per-views, you know, I think the key to the the first, the second pay-per-view for sure was the FTR and Briscoe's match. And this one, I think it's, you know, the the big, whatever it does, the keys are, are Jericho and, the, and the, the dog collar match more than anything else. Which, again, the dog collar match involved FTR, which is uh, AEW team, and Jericho and Claudio are both AEW guys. I don't know if this means that, you know, the result of the match where Claudio won the championship, if that means that Claudio will be more of a ring of honor guy and we don't see him on AEW as much and he'll be the flag bearer and then we don't see jericho doing ring of honor which in fact i think greatly hurts ring of honor because i think that jericho was a big key to the marketability you know i mean he doesn't have to be champion but um him being there obviously gives it way more credibility um than it would have um, you know, without him, I mean, I, you know, I think that again, you know, he was a big, big part of whatever this pay per view does, you know, he's a big part of that one. The and WWE legendary joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars' fingers hurt? <laughs> 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 Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon. Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no. That is the answer. Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> what? No, you said Glamazon. No, I oh. said Glamazon. Oh, there should be a Glamazon. <laughs> yeah, Glamazon. Actually, you get, like, puppy you get pictures. it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.